Hi guys, it's Josh with TT101. Today I'm going to be coming at you guys with the second half of my last video that pertained to buying before the gun ban. If you have watched that video, you would know that I was talking about buying magazines, ammunition, and lower receivers as just good investments all around to buy before there is a so-called uh, assault weapons ban. If you haven't watched that video, you can uh, look in the top right corner of your screen right now, and uh, you can hit that check it out box, and it'll give you a link to my other video. So going forward here, I want to bring out some of the best purchases I feel that you can buy before the gun ban is regarding guns is definitely going to have to be an AR-15, just your standard no frills AR-15. This happens to be a Ruger AR-556. These are pretty affordable guns. You can uh, these can be had for about 650 bucks. Um, Typically, I mean, that's what I'm selling selling them here for in, in my store. So this is just a great investment. Uh, the last Clinton ban, a standard AR, just like this one, was selling for over $2,000. I mean, that's just a really good investment. Uh, this one happens to have the rear flip-up sight. It is a Ruger flip-up sight, so it's not like the Magpul one. And this one's not even down all the way. I'm going to have to tighten that up. But, uh, yep, it has the 30-round magazine. It does come with one and uh, like I was saying before I cannot stress enough to stock up on these just stock up on these because even when this election is coming up this year these are going to just get extremely scarce that's just how it goes uh, this gun has a one and eight twist which is really good for a lot of different bullet weights so you can't really go wrong with a just a standard AR-15 Next in the lineup is going to be any AK-47 variant. This happens to be a Century PAP in the 5.56, so it uses uh, man, that's stiff. Uses the AR-15 magazine, shoots the 2.23 and 5.56. These are just really cool guns. Uh, this is all I ha actually happen to have at my store right now. Uh, that was an AK variant, so just pulled this one out to show it to you guys. I really have no experience with this gun, but it is pretty cool. It does have a threaded barrel. Uh, you can take this uh, this muzzle brake off, and these are going to, again, these, these are just going to get really scarce. Prices are going to double, triple, quadruple, potentially, if there was an assault weapons ban. So another great investment. Basically, anything with a pistol grip and looks scary and has been seen in action films and just is plastered all over the news go out and buy it because this is going to be really scarce next in the lineup is going to be lower receivers and this one actually happens to be a cool one i don't know if anybody knows lower receivers but this one is actually missing something and uh if you know what that is comment down below and uh, I would definitely like to hear about all those guys that happen to know what this, this piece is here. Now, it is a, a, a lower receiver. And again, you cannot go wrong. These are small investment up front that can really just ultimately, ultimately lead into a lot of cash in your pocket or just having one so you can potentially build one after there was a so-called assault weapons ban. So there we go. Next would be any high capacity handgun. So this is a Glock 19 in the burnt bronze, holds 15 rounds. This is another great investment. You really just can't go wrong with buying any Glock or high any, like Walther or anything. Taurus, I don't really like Taurus too much, but that's me. Um, Ruger, Ruger kind of <laughs> has a shoddy reputation in the gun community regarding this subject, that's for sure. Uh, talking about Bill Ruger in mind, but uh, yeah, any high capacity handgun. I also have a Glock 17 here. You really just can't go wrong with either one of these two. They're going to be ultra reliable, and you just you just can't beat them for the money too. Uh, this is a Gen 4 Glock 17. I have these at my store for 539.99 all day long. And then this one, being that it's a burnt bronze very uh, color, excuse me. This one, I believe, is six. 19 yeah 619 at my store right now so something to think about 
All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up today. I hope you guys like this video. If you wouldn't mind commenting down below and telling me how you guys like this video and maybe some things I can improve on. I am just getting into the YouTube game right now, and uh, I am a little camera shy. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but I hope you guys are finding my videos interesting, and I really appreciate my subscribers. Um, this, this YouTube channel has actually been taking off a lot faster than I thought it would be. I've got a lot more views on my videos than I, I thought I would, so I'm really happy about that. Um, as always, like and subscribe, and stay tuned for some more cool videos.